Madeline Kahn, an actress known for her comedic talent, brought laughter and joy to many. With a career spanning theater, film, and television, she earned acclaim for her ability to bring characters to life with both humor and heart. Her performances in films like Blazing Saddles and Young Frankenstein showcased her range and skill, earning her nominations for prestigious awards. Khan's legacy in entertainment continues to inspire and entertain audiences, making her a beloved figure in the world of acting. Madeline Kahn was a talented actress known for her comedic roles. She brought laughter to many with her performances in movies and on stage. Her ability to make people laugh was truly special. Now, let's get to know her a bit more. Do you know any interesting stories about Madeline Kahn that are not widely known? What was the first movie or show you saw that featured her? It's always fun to hear about the first time someone discovers a great actress. And what about your most memorable moment related to Madeline Kahn? Share your stories and memories with us. We'd love to hear them. Stay tuned as we have many surprising, amusing, and touching facts about her life to share with you. Madeline Kahn's legacy is filled with moments that made us smile, and we're excited to explore them together. Madeline Kahn was born in Boston, Massachusetts. She grew up in a family that appreciated music and performance, which sparked her interest in acting. Her mother was a strong influence, encouraging her to perform. Madeline began studying opera as a child, which laid the foundation for her vocal skills. She attended Hofstra University, where she studied drama and started to shape her acting abilities. Her early stage work, especially in musical theater, helped her develop her unique comedic style. She was inspired by the works of famous comedians and actors from the early 20th century, which influenced her timing and expressions. Madeline's talent was recognized early on, leading her to Broadway and eventually to film, where she became known for her roles in comedies directed by Mel Brooks and her ability to make people laugh with her wit and charm. Madeline Kahn was an actress known for her comedic roles. Some of her most notable films include Blazing Saddles, where she played the character Lily Vonis H. Dup, a performance that earned her an Academy Award nomination. Another significant movie is Young Frankenstein, portraying Elizabeth, which showcased her talent for combining humor with a classic touch. For those new to her work, watching Paper Moon is a good start. Her role as Trixie Delight is both memorable and showcases her range as an actress. Additionally, What's Up, Doc? is a must-watch, where Khan's comedic timing shines alongside Barbara Streisand and Ryan O'Neill. These films offer a glimpse into her skill in bringing characters to life with wit and charm. Madeline Kahn found her love for acting early in life. As a child, she enjoyed making people laugh and was drawn to the stage's bright lights. Her first taste of acting came from school plays where she realized she could transform into different characters. This discovery was thrilling for her. She loved the applause and the joy her performances brought to others. It was clear that acting was her calling. She pursued this path with determination, leading to a successful career that brought laughter and delight to many. Her journey began with simple school plays, but her talent and passion for acting were evident from the start. Madeline Kahn, known for her role as Mistress White in the movie Clue, was one of three actresses in the film who were nominated for the Academy Award for Best Supporting Actress during their careers. In Young Frankenstein, she portrayed Elizabeth and made a personal request to sing Ah, Sweet Mystery of Life, which she believed was a better fit for her character than the originally planned song. Her talent was recognized beyond the big screen as she received a People's Choice Award for her TV show O Madeline and a Daytime Emmy Award for her performance in Wanted the Perfect Guy. Her stage work was equally celebrated, earning her a Tony, Drama Desk, and Outer Circle Awards for the Sisters Rosenzweig, and nominations for her roles in In the Boom, Boom Room, On the 20th Century, and Born Yesterday. Madeline Kahn faced many challenges in her early career. She struggled with financial issues and was not immediately accepted in the entertainment industry. Despite these difficulties, she showed great determination she took on various roles and used her unique comedic talent to stand out. Her ability to make people laugh won her roles that showcased her range as an actress. She kept working hard and eventually earned recognition for her performances. 
Madeline's story shows that with hard work and a positive attitude, you can overcome tough times and succeed. Madeline Kahn brought her unique presence to the screen in various roles. In the Muppet movie, she appeared as El Sleazo patron, joining a star-studded cast that included Steve Martin and Milton Berle. Her performance as Martha Mitchell and Nixon connected her to other portrayals of historical figures like Dan Hedaya's Richard Nixon and Saul Rubinick's Henry Kissinger. Khan's comedic talent shone on Saturday Night Live, where she played Pat Nixon. Her role as Mistress White and Clue saw her acting alongside Eileen Brennan, with whom she had previously worked in the unsuccessful musical At Long Last Love. Despite the film's failure, Khan's career continued to flourish, showcasing her ability to captivate audiences with her performances. Madeline Khan's career had several significant moments. Her role in Paper Moon as Trixie Delight brought her to the spotlight. This performance showed her talent for comedy and earned her praise. Her work in Blazing Saddles as Lily Vonis H. Dup is another highlight. This role showcased her singing and comedic timing, leading to further recognition. Her peers and critics noted her ability to bring laughter and lightness to her characters. Collaborators often spoke of her dedication and skill in bringing roles to life. These roles and her unique style of humor made her a beloved figure in entertainment. Madeline Kahn brought laughter and joy to many through her roles in film and television. In Young Frankenstein, she played Elizabeth, a role that earned her a nomination for Best Actress in a Supporting Role at the 1975 Golden Globe Awards, despite having more screen time than Cloris Leachman, who was nominated for Best Lead Actress. Her performance as Lily Von Sage Toop in Blazing Saddles showcased her comedic talent, especially when the familiar tune from the producers played during her poster scene, adding a touch of humor. Tragically, both Khan and her co-star Gilda Radner from the sitcom First Family lost their lives to ovarian cancer, with Radner passing away in 1989 and Khan 10 years later. Their legacy continues to bring smiles to faces, reminding us of their talent and the laughter they shared with the world. Madeline Kahn was known for her ability to bring unique characters to life with her expressive voice and comedic timing. She approached her roles with a deep understanding of the character's background, often adding her own twist to make them memorable. Her personal experiences, especially her early interest in opera, and her education in drama allowed her to develop a wide range of acting skills. This background helped her to stand out in both musical and comedic roles. She had a talent for finding the humor in every situation, which made her performances stand out. Her work reflects her belief in the power of laughter and her desire to connect with the audience on a human level. Khan's style was characterized by her sharp wit and the warmth she brought to her roles, making her characters relatable and loved by many. Her dedication to her craft and her ability to adapt to different roles made her a respected figure in the acting community. Her performances continue to be enjoyed by audiences, showing the lasting appeal of her work. Madeline Kahn stepped into the spotlight with her role as Eunice Burns in the film What's Up, Doc, marking her first appearance in a feature film. Her talent shone through again when she played Elizabeth in Young Frankenstein. Despite initial scheduling issues that led to Cindy Williams temporarily taking the role, Kahn returned to claim the part once her schedule allowed. Her portrayal of Lily Von S.H. Dup in Blazing Saddles earned her critical acclaim, securing the 74th spot in Premier Magazine's list of the 100 greatest performances of all time in 26. Her performances in these roles showcased her skill and left a lasting impression on audiences and critics alike. Madeline Kahn was a talented actress known for her comedic roles. She brought laughter and joy to many people. Her work in films and on stage showed her skill in making characters come to life. She had a unique way of speaking and acting that made her stand out. Many people in the acting world saw her as a role model. They learned from her how to be better at their craft. She was good at both serious and funny roles, showing her wide range of skills. Her peers in the industry spoke highly of her. They said she was a joy to work with and always made the set a better place. Her style of comedy has influenced many actors after her. They try to bring the same level of humor and heart to their performances. Madeline Kahn will always be remembered for her bright personality and the happiness she brought to her audience. 
Madeline Kahn showed her talent for comedy in the role of Jenny Hill in The Adventure of Sherlock Holmes' Smarter Brother. She also worked with Gene Wilder and Marty Feldman in Young Frankenstein, where she played Elizabeth. Her ability to think quickly was clear when she added her own funny line, No Tongues, while filming a scene with Gene Wilder. In Clue, she made up a memorable moment on the spot with her flames. Flames on the side of my face. Line, showing her skill and making her role her own. Madeline Kahn was known for her love of the arts, supporting various cultural initiatives and charities. She had a passion for helping young actors and comedians find their footing in the industry. Her work with children's charities showed her commitment to using her talents to bring joy and support to those in need. Kahn's dedication to her craft was deeply connected to her belief in the power of performance to uplift and educate which she demonstrated through her involvement in educational programs that aim to inspire creativity in young people. Her personal interest in music and comedy were often reflected in her performances, adding a layer of authenticity and joy that audiences could feel. Madeline Kahn's life outside of acting was filled with acts of kindness and support for the arts, reflecting her belief in giving back and fostering new talent. Madeline Kahn brought laughter and a unique spark to every role she played. In What's Up, Doc? She was Eunice Burns, a character who found herself in the middle of a comedic chase for a music box. Her performance alongside Barbara Streisand and Ryan O'Neill was just the beginning. She showed her musical talent again in At Long Last Love, singing Cole Porter's classics with Burt Reynolds. Her ability to switch from comedy to song highlighted her range as an actress. Her role as Eunice Burns continued to be memorable when she joined forces with Kenneth Mars and Liam Dunn in Young Frankenstein. Here, she played a similar character, once again engaged to a man who finds himself in bizarre circumstances. Her comedic timing shone through, especially when paired with Mars, who played a humorous villain with a thick accent. In Clue, Khan's portrayal of Mistress White left a lasting impression, particularly with her improvised monologue expressing her anger towards Yvette the Maid. This spontaneous moment captured her quick wit and ability to create laughter on the spot. Her performances remain a testament to her talent in bringing characters to life with humor and authenticity. Madeline Kahn was known for her comedic talent and ability to bring laughter and joy to many. Her work in film and theater showed her skill in a variety of roles making her a beloved figure in entertainment. For those looking to follow in her footsteps, she would likely advise them to focus on their craft, be true to themselves, and find joy in their work. She would encourage aspiring actors to keep learning and to embrace every opportunity to grow. Her future contributions, though she is no longer with us, live on through the inspiration she provides to new generations of actors who look up to her performances and career Madeline Kahn received a Tony Award nomination in 1978 for her role in the musical on the 20th century. Her performance as Elizabeth in Young Frankenstein is memorable, especially the scene of her arrival at the castle, which director Mel Brooks found both hilarious and challenging due to the cast laughter. Her talent shone in on the 20th century, but she had to leave the show after nine weeks because her vocal cords were damaged. Madeline Kahn's career in the entertainment industry was marked by her strong passion for acting and her ability to bring laughter and joy to audiences. She was known for her unique comedic timing and her skill in both film and theater. Her dedication to her craft showed in every performance, making her a beloved figure on screen and stage. Her work continues to inspire new generations of performers, showing that with creativity and hard work, one can leave a lasting memory in the hearts of many. Madeline Kahn's story is a testament to the power of creativity and the importance of never giving up on one's dreams. Madeline Kahn brought laughter to many as Lily Von S.H. Toop in Blazing Saddles. In a memorable scene, Bart greets her with a warm, how are you, my darling, in German. Her role as Elizabeth in Young Frankenstein was equally memorable, where she was dressed boldly for the time, reflecting the less strict guidelines of earlier film eras. Kahn's portrayal of Lily von Sagetoop also paid homage to Marlene Dietrich's Frenchie, another saloon singer from the classic Destroy Rides Again. Both characters share a connection with the villain but ultimately support the hero, showcasing Kahn's talent for playing layered roles with humor and charm. 
Madeline Kahn made her mark in the film industry with memorable roles that showcased her talent. In the movie Nixon, she portrayed Martha Mitchell, marking her last major appearance on the big screen. Her performance left a lasting impression on audiences. Earlier in her career, Kahn faced a turning point when she was removed from the role of Agnes Gooch in Mame. The next day, she began work on Blazing Saddles as Lily Von S.H. Tube, a role that became one of her most famous. The switch was controversial. Lucio Ball suspected Khan of acting poorly on purpose to be fired and still get paid due to her contract. Khan's audition for Lily Von S.H. Tube involved a peculiar request from director Mel Brooks, who wanted to see if her legs matched the allure of Marlene Dietrichs. Khan complied, cautiously lifting her skirt, making it clear there was to be no touching. Her portrayal of Lily was a humorous tribute to Dietrich, adding to Khan's legacy of bringing laughter to the silver screen. Madeline Kahn was a talented actress known for her roles in both comedy and drama. Her performances brought laughter and joy to many. We invite you to share your favorite moments from her career or how her performances touch your life. Your comments help keep her memory alive and celebrate her as an artist. If you enjoy content that honors the creative talents and entertainment, please like, share, and subscribe for more. Your support helps us bring more stories and memories to you.